Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I'm going to take you for a video walkthrough on board Moksha. She's a 2016 Fountain Peugeot Helio 44 Evolution. She has the Maestro layout, which means she's a owner's layout, three cabin, three head. I'm going to have the pricing and full specs in the description down below, as well as a couple of pop-ups throughout this video. Um, all in all, a really nicely equipped, well-maintained and well-set-up cruising boat with water maker, solar, lithium generator, air conditioning, pretty much everything you would need to go cruising, not just in the Bahamas or the Caribbean, but if you really wanted to take the boat further afield. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump aboard. Okay, we're gonna to begin today's tour here on the Starboard Sugar Scoop on board Moksha. A couple of things I wanna point out is we've got the uh, tender on Davids so with the two-stroke Yamaha, um, and we've got a really friendly puppy over there. Custom solar array with over 1,500 watts of solar, which go to a lithium battery bank. Through here, we have the first of two mechanical spaces that house the upgraded, uh, sorry, upgraded Volvo D255 motors, which are paired to a set of fixed props. We're gonna come back to the cockpit, but we're gonna first make our way around the foredeck. So up here on the foredeck, we have a large single tramp, single piece trampoline. We've got a bow sprit with a code zero with a brand new roller furler. And um, I mean, just this boat in general has got great sails on it. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time on the Helio 44 and it's just a great sailing boat. We've got a four peak here on the starboard bow, as well as additional storage there over on the port side. And then the dolphin seats on both bows as well too. Through here, we've got the anchor locker, the windlass, the water tanks, and the 12, the 12 kVA uh, phaser generator. Boat's equipped with a full set of Raymarine electronics. So you'll see we've got a radar here on the mast. It's a double spreader rig. Pretty much all standard Fountain Peugeot Helio 44 stuff. As we make our way around the port weather deck, you'll see where they've got the Generation 2 Starlink mounted. And then down here on the starboard sugar scoop, we have the um, swim ladder, second mechanical space, which also houses a D255. And then a better view of the um, dinghy davit and tender, as well as the solar panels up top. Over here on the outboard side, We've got one of the code zero winches over on the starboard side. You can actually run the code zero sheets up to the helm, making our way into the cockpit. We have a large L shaped settee over to port side. We've got rod storage overhead, lots of natural light and ventilation that comes through. We've got an isotherm ice maker over here, a vitro frigo cockpit refrigerator there. We've got storage underneath the day bed over here, adjacent to the L shaped settee. Let's go ahead and make our way up to the helm in the Sky Lounge real quick before we make our way into the salon. So we've got our three primary winches just forward to the helm with all the sail control lines leading back here to the helm. The outboard one is a powered winch. Boat's equipped with a full suite of Raymarine electronics. We've got a large touchscreen chart plotter as well as tri-data, autopilot, wind, and a quick anchor windlass control with chain counter. And then over here, we've got the Volvo engine control, sorry, the engine panels. And then outboard of that, the Raymarine microphone for the VHF. And then you'll see up here, the Sky Lounge. And I, I failed to mention, but all of, the, all of the soft goods were recovered in 2023 and in exceptional condition. Let's go ahead and make our way into the salon. Okay, making our way into the salon. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the U-shaped galley over port aft. Um, you know, I've done plenty of videos over the years on the Helia 44, and this is, in my opinion, one of the best galleys of any mid 40 foot range boat ever built. We've got tons of counter space, plenty of storage down below. We've got a three burner cooktop. We've got an Eno oven broiler, storage just below that. We've got a deep freezer made by Isotherm over on the kitchen island, as well as drawers over here. Continuing our way clockwise through the salon, uh, we've got the nav station port forward where we've got the Victron battery management system, 
a Raymarine Autopilot VHF fusion controller, as well as an air conditioning unit controller for the salon air conditioning. Um, I mean, you can see, I mean, the cushions were all reupholstered. And in general, this boat is in very good shape. It's very clear that this was a never chartered boat and it was very well looked after by her, her sellers. Um, so we've got storage underneath the settee here, although there is an air conditioning under the settee that takes up a little bit of the storage. Continuing around, we've got a television that swings out on a swivel mount there. We've got additional storage up top and then our main isotherm uh, fridge drawer style fridges adjacent to the galley. We're gonna go ahead and make our way down the port companionway and check out the two guest staterooms. So we're making our way forward. You'll see this is the smallest of the three staterooms. Um, yeah, I forgot to open the blind, but the place does fill with plenty of natural light when you do open up the blinds. This is an evolution version of the Helio 44, which has the much larger whole side windows, which just gives you a lot more light in the interior. Through that doorway there, we can access the Ford Peak that I mentioned while we were on deck. Uh, and we can also um, um, access it from the deck too. On the outboard side, we've got the first of three heads on board, which is pretty much identical to what we're gonna see in the port aft head with a separate shower, vanity mirror, and then toilet all the way forward. Making our way aft, you'll see on the inboard side, we've got plenty of storage. And then the second guest stateroom, same thing. I didn't open these blinds. You can see even with, even with them partially open, the volume of light that just spills into the space. We've got storage underneath the berth as well too. And then I love this aft cabin because of the bank of cabinets here on the inboard side. Just a really nice space for storing stuff. And then the second head on board, which is a mirror image of what we've already looked at. We're gonna go ahead and make our way across the salon and check out the owner's stateroom on board Moksha. Now the owner's stateroom on the Evolution, I think is far better than the staterooms on the non-Evolution boats, because first things first, they opened up this bulkhead to make it a much more open feeling when you go in. The berth is a semi walk around queen size berth, tons of natural light coming into the space, storage beneath the berth. And then as we turn around and look forward, just the whole way they change the owner's stateroom with a small desk in lieu of a sofa with some storage there. Storage here on the inboard side, storage over here on the outboard side. Probably one of the nicest updates is they did a water closet for the head. That way you can kind of, you know, have your privacy while you're in there. And continuing all the way forward, we've got the owner's shower, vanity and sink. And um, as we continue forward from there, we've got the washer dryer unit on board Moksha. So I'm gonna have a full, uh, I'm gonna have the listing in the description down below with the full specs on the boat. If you have any questions on Moksha, definitely leave a comment down below, shoot me an email. And as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.